Uh, hey guys, um, I'm trying to switch it up today and uh, film in the morning, um, and it's mostly because I can't really fall asleep right now because of insomnia and all that, and um, yeah, um, but I'm probably going to be talking a lot quieter than usual just because uh, as I've probably said for the millionth time, I don't really want, um, other people hearing what I'm saying. But anyways, um, today, uh, well, here's a look at my room in the morning. It's pretty cozy and, uh, currently lying in bed. There's my feet. <laughs> wow, I'm retarded. Anyways, um, so, uh, yeah, today I think I'm going to be talking about my, uh, YouTube addiction. And how um, that is ruining my life. And more specifically about the, uh, I don't know, the specifics about my YouTube addiction. And it really all began maybe right after I graduated. Or I guess even during high school. Because I just remember back in the day I used to watch so much YouTube. It was, uh, I guess, how I bonded with the friends that I had at the time is we would watch these stupid funny videos on YouTube and that's kind of how I associated all these good and positive emotions with the I guess the platform or the website and uh I don't know if you uh, some examples of this are um I don't know I remember like back in the day, one of my friends discovered that there was this Indian version of uh, like the Michael Jackson <laughs> thriller uh, video. And uh, I don't know, it's just the most hilarious thing ever. I just remember watching that shit in school and just laughing my ass off because of how like it's utterly retarded it was like how like, I don't know, it was like <laughs> so cringy, but I mean, it was funny as hell like, um, yeah, anyways, you guys uh, should definitely look up Indian Thriller and uh, tell me that's not the funniest shit in the world. But yeah, so back to the main topic at hand. Uh, yeah, so basically, I just from then I just got hooked on YouTube and I've been addicted to a lot of other things in my life, including video games and anime. But more recently, for the especially during my need them. Um, I've been mostly consuming content on YouTube and um, it's, I don't know, it's taking its toll on me and I think it's a huge time sink that I've just poured in probably close to tens of thousands of hours into and, you know, like any addiction, um, I guess you it only takes a little bit of, uh, I guess, the drug to, um, I don't know, get you high, I guess, and the high for me would be that comfy feeling you get when you're just watching like i don't know whatever like i'll like yeah whatever video is like pop up on your recommended feed at the time or finding something that i guess you find genuinely interesting and it just makes you keep um want to watch it i'm not making any sense right now uh it makes you keep wanting to watch it and yeah so you know that like that feeling when you're just watching like scrolling through, through videos and then you you finally like you find something that just makes you go like holy shit like this is the most interesting thing i've ever seen or this is really like what i want to see right now it's kind of like tv like you're surfing i mean youtube basically is the evolution of television except it's on a much more like smaller scale in, ten, in terms of attention span but a much larger scale in terms of how much like crap there is to watch on youtube and yeah so i'm just almost chasing that high um looking for videos and you know of course like what i was saying earlier um like any addiction like it always starts out small where you're just um looking anything will pretty much make you laugh like your basic like bon appetit what are like food videos or um i don't know like what's funny like i remember back in the day uh my chani uh, i used to find that shit funny um what else like uh 
you know, stuff like your basic everyday, like, videos, like, I found funny, or, you know, like, yeah, just stuff like that, like, that the stuff that everybody was watching, and then, like, PewDiePie, I guess, oh, that's a pretty bad example, because I don't really like PewDiePie, but, um, but anyways, you kind of get my point, and eventually, uh, uh, start watching, like, more and more, like, niche stuff, like, that's, like, catered to your own interests, so I guess that's, like, the next level of the high, I guess, or the next level of, like, niche content that I needed to consume to feel that same feeling of, like, feeling interested in stuff, so it would be stuff like, um, I don't know, like, offline TV or, uh, Korean Englishmen, and, it's weird because I really had like a weird fascination or addiction to watching those videos or like, I guess channels where it showed people like, um, having like normal everyday interactions and, you know, like laughing together, teasing each other and just like having friends. And I basically like just would watch this stuff like, um, so I could basically live vicariously through them, you know, like I would just watch, um, these interactions and just imagine myself being there and imagine myself having, you know, friends that I could just, you know, like be chill with and not like treat me like shit, you know? And yeah, so there's that. And, um, from there, I just graduated to more and more niche stuff. So like documentaries and like political stuff, eventually politics. Like I've been all over the political spectrum. Like at one point I was a zeitgeister and then I went all the way to the alt right. And now I'm kind of back in the, uh, I guess, center left where I kind of do see the merits of both sides. But, um, that's besides the point. I could probably make a video on that. Um, yeah, so, the, I was, like, I would watch, like, binge watch, like, the Zeitgeist documentaries and, or, like, um, all the way to, like, Black Pigeon Speaks, Stefan Molyneux and, um, people like that. And, uh, just give me a second. I feel like someone's coming down. I gotta make sure I stop talking in case uh, they hear me. Okay, I don't think, I think it's just people upstairs. But anyways, um, yeah, so there's that. And my documentaries, I've just watched stuff on like Japan and Korea and like places that I'm really interested in or like, I don't know, like the Vice documentaries and just random shit like that. And, you know, of course, like I'll still, wa I'll still watch all this stuff I used to watch. But it's, I guess like as you, uh, it's like kind of like watching, uh, you know, like, adult videos you know like although i've never actually experienced this but i've heard that people who are like really addicted to that like they first start off watching like the plain jane like i don't know like missionary like you know what i mean <laughs> or just like they're, they're just in it for like the hot the girls they find hot but the more they watch it like the more they go after like the freaky stuff you know what i mean like um i don't know like fucking like animal like bullshit or whatever you know or like bondage of that's what you call it like the bdsm stuff and like midget vietnamese midget congenital twin like adult videos <laughs> what the hell <laughs> okay i hope nobody's actually watching that stuff or like even like snuff films like i guess the most the furthest extreme of that would be like snuff films but I mean, God, like, I'm thankful, like, I'm not that messed up in the head, but, I mean, the whole, like, analogy applies here where, like, I just watch weirder and weirder stuff where now I'm, like, basically, I'm watching, like, lol cow stuff, lol cow documentaries, so, like, um, Chris Chan, I'm a, I, I guess I consider myself a Christorian, um, who else, JFS Cobra, he's pretty good, um, all these who are people who are basically lol cows and who are, I guess, technically, well, mostly like neats. And I like watching their, their original content. Oh yeah. And they're just hiding in my room. 
And before I remember when I watched Daniel's channel, I found it extremely boring and I didn't get like why anybody would want to watch it. But now I just find it just really oddly fascinating. So I guess it's to the point where like I'm, I'm exactly like that. I don't know if I can say the word like that adult video addict who um has watched so much of it that he has to like watch like the really freaky stuff just to get the same high and that's basically me but with like youtube content and um yeah so as far as my addiction goes i pretty much spent the last like um four hours watching like youtube on my phone and like it's gotten so bad that i blocked it on my computer with some like app thing that i downloaded but i just end up watching it on my phone so now recently one thing i've um i've found that has worked for me is that i got this um locking case thing i think you can see it it's like this box like this um lock, lock timed lock box off of amazon and i just lock my phone in it and that pretty much um prevents me from accessing youtube and i feel like when i don't have access to youtube like i just i don't know i'm always craving it or like I like need to get that high. I mean, it's not the YouTube I'm addicted to in reality. It's more like the dopamine at the end of the day, like, and my brain will just chase after um, that dopamine hit, which is why I, um, yeah, like I'll get it. Like if I block myself from like accessing YouTube, um, I'll end up like consuming sweets, like drinking sweet drinks, which I don't normally drink like apple juice or like, coke and eating candy which i normally actually i'm pretty good about controlling myself with and yeah so there's that aspect of it and but yeah i mean imagine if i just spent all this time on uh youtube like doing actually things something like actually productive or like working on my passions like i'd probably be like i don't know a little bit narcissistic narcissistic of me to assume this but i feel like if i or like if all of us i guess because i guess all of us have our own like individual like vices or things that we're addicted to like but if we could just cut those off and like put that time the stuff that we were actually passionate about or talented in then i don't know who knows like people like us or i don't know if you can relate but like i feel like people in general if we could cast off our addictions we could basically become like these ascendant like godlike beings at least compared to people who are addicted but the sad reality is that most of us are just addicted to uh whatever some people for some people it's drugs for some it's tv for some it's i don't know just fucking watching youtube videos all day and that's just like the sad reality of it and just all the precious time that's being wasted and man I'm, I'm throwing away my life and it's i don't know it's not a good feeling obviously and i mean it's comfy as hell no doubt and i love the feeling that i get when i watch youtube i mean it's so bad that even when i'm not like like i need to have youtube on in the background when i'm doing other things and i end up like shifting my focus back and forth between youtube and like whatever i'm doing it's like it's fragmenting my attention like my attention span is being ground into like dust basically like i can only ever hold attention to a uh, something for like a few seconds at a time and like this is probably really bad for my brain oh uh, yeah the video cut out but um um yeah I forgot what I was saying. Um, it's probably just really bad for my brain. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about YouTube. I just, I wish I never discovered this stupid website. I mean, it's also designed to be addictive where with the whole recommended feed, feeding you this information that's really not going to benefit you in the long run. But I don't know. It's so like, like seductive, if that makes sense. Like, I guess it's very, I find it very like intellectually stimulating. And that's partly also what makes it so addictive to me is that 
I don't know, it's an easy way to access all of this information, all of this media, and all of this um, knowledge that I otherwise wouldn't have access to had I just lived a normal life. So in that way, it's interesting. But the cost of that is that I'm losing out on all these, I guess, real life experiences that I need to develop properly as a human being because I'm so addicted to like watching YouTube and um, throwing my life away on this stupid platform. Um, I hope I don't get bad from YouTube. Ironically, isn't it kind of ironic that I want to become a YouTuber, but I'm basically peddling poison or, you know, maybe it's really just me that has the negative relationship with YouTube. I have no idea, but obviously it's one of my vices and yeah, so it's something I feel like I need to definitely control and yeah, anyways, I think that's all I have to say for now. Well, let me think if I have anything else. Um, I guess the fact that... Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm uh, going to end the video now because I feel like I'm out of things to say. So anyways, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And um, if you liked what you've heard or listened to, or so if you like the sunshine in my room, um, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And yeah, uh, peace.